Thank you. Uh, Your Eminence, thank you for that wonderful presentation this morning. Uh, brothers and sisters, beloved clergy, healing the healer. I would like to um, add to our title a colon, how do we, how we heal, how we balance, and how we recreate. Uh, since I saw this topic, a song from 1972 kept, uh, kept coming into my head. In 1972, Marlo Thomas did a record for children called Free to Be You and Me. And I'd like to share this song sung by Tom Smothers called Helping. You remember it? Okay. Agatha Fry, she made a pie, and Christopher John helped bake it. Christopher John, he mowed the lawn, and Agatha Fry helped rake it. Now Zachary Zug took out the rug, and Jennifer Joy helped shake it. And Jennifer Joy, she made a toy, and Zachary Zug helped break it. Some kind of help is the kind of help that helping's all about. And some kind of help is the kind of help we all can do without. <laughs> Being a healer or doing ministry has personal costs. To heal, we need to be caring always for ourselves. The miracle of healing most often comes with TLC and balanced. I'm convinced that all Christians by nature are helpers or caregivers. And to do so effectively, we need to identify and be proactive in meeting our own real needs. We cannot sustain the needs or we cannot take care of the needs of others without regularly caring for ourselves. We will simply burn out. The needs, like those we serve, are social, spiritual, and physical. We, marry, we need to care for our souls, minds, and bodies. We are social creatures. We need mentors. We need peers, and we need protégés. Everybody needs a Paul, a Barnabas, and a, and a Timothy. We need mentors to guide us, peers to challenge us, and protégés to help us mature. We need all three to carry the burdens of our ministries to each other, our families, our parishes, and the world. We have to do the work to cultivate these relationships. Without mentors and peers, we add stress to our marital and family relationships, burdening our families with the work that could and perhaps should be borne by fellow caregivers. Christ calls us to carry his and each other's crosses. Pulling together, our burdens are lightened. Yet in our current age, debriefing after stressful professional encounters has become discouraged and with HIPAA laws made illegal. We tell our boys to man up and not to whine. We encourage self-reliance at the expense of social connections. Without mentors, we add unnecessary pressure on ourselves to have to learn everything the hard way often at great costs. Friendships have to be mutually beneficial and free. If we do not choose and regulate our relationships, even with our mentors, we become resentful and feel imposed upon or controlled. Likewise, we need to respect the time and boundaries of the people we serve. Otherwise, they will feel manipulated and misused. When any of us needs help, we are hypervigilant about our vulnerability. 
we healers need to take great care to respect our own and the boundaries of others to be really helpful. This brings me to a dilemma. What should caregivers share with their spouses? If we share specifics, we run the risk of damaging the relationships of our spouses with the people that we serve and breaking confidences. Yet if we don't share, our spouses may assume that we're dissatisfied with them, which causes them harm. We need to somehow balance our family and parish needs and share enough but not too much. We might say something like, sorry to be a bit preoccupied with this or that that you may know is going on in the parish, but I'm grateful for your support and love. Not sharing our burdens, not caring for our social needs, and not taking care of ourselves will lead to burnout. Mentors, peers, and protégés are the kind of help that helping's all about. Balance. The first gifts of the church are those of initiation. Being church is being called out of the world to belong to God. This relationship with God requires continuous nourishment through study, prayer, confession, and spiritual guidance. When we care for others, when we care for ourselves in this way, we better serve our spouses, families, parishes, and community. When we pray, study, and confess, we model for everyone healthy living. Likewise, when we care for our spouses, we model for our families godly love and responsibility. When we keep our families a priority, we model for our parish and community. When we care for our parishes, we show the value and importance of the church in our process of healing and salvation. Not keeping a balance and not meeting the needs of each other is the kind of help we can do without. Being right with God and each other creates a satisfaction and a sense of peace, which is in itself healing. Sharing our peacefulness is godly hospitality. This is a tool and responsibility of all Christians. By providing in our peacefulness a safe place, we provide a place of healing. Healing comes from God. To receive it, we need to be fair to both ourselves and those we serve. We need to be an instrument of God's peace. We need to be appropriately nice to ourselves and others and provide ourselves and each other with a tender, loving care. This is the kind of help that helping's all about.